A few months ago, I turned 28 years old, meaning I only have two years before the big 30s. They say these are some of the best years of your life, and did they go fast? Move abroad, got married, got a dog, and somehow I still feel like there is more I want to achieve. I mean, I got nothing to lose. The other day I was listening to snippets of this interview and there was a sentence that said something like There's no perfect way to live your 20s. You either live them up and become an unskilled 30 year old or you work them up and become an underlived 30 year old. You just need to figure out which one you'd rather be. Accept the trade-offs and know that there are no do-overs. But what stood out to me was the response. There are more people that I have met in my life who are dissatisfied by their live it up 20s than dissatisfied by their work it up 20s. Because most of the time in your 20s, you have no idea what you want, but knowing what you need to do to work and move ahead is fairly straightforward. And so you can take the known and make progress on the one that you have high confidence that you can make progress on. And then along the way, gain perspective on what are the things that are actually important to you in your life. And you may find out often that there are far fewer of those things than you really originally thought because what you thought live them up in your 20s was was actually your mom and your two homies who are both mediocre and you don't care about their opinion now when you're 30 anyways but what a waste of a life it would have been to quote live up your mom's dream or your friend's dreams to then only get to your 30s and realize you didn't live it up and you also didn't work it up and now you have neither. This is the exact same reason why I quit my job and I'm starting my own business because I'm actually choosing one of these two. As part of starting my own business, there are a bunch of things that I need to figure out, like how am I gonna get clients? What is my ideal client? To be honest, the most difficult one so far has been the finance part. And I'm saying this as I hold a master in finance. I've actually had a meeting the other day with an accountant that a friend recommended because I feel like I studied economics and finance but there's some things that's better to outsource and to let other people do that are better at you. One of the things that he told me to do was to get every single invoice that I've ever received and that I've ever sent to see what we're starting with. And actually one of the nice things that I did is I created a pivot table where I checked my income and expenses for that month. And I'm extremely happy to announce and to say that I'm at break even. And what I mean by this is that I've made the exact same amount of money that I've spent. And for some of them, for some of you that might be not like, whoa, this guy is making it and this guy is like doing super cool stuff or anything, but I've been doing content for the past two years and I've spent a lot of money on it. I've spent money on cameras, gear, softwares, licenses, things that I really perhaps didn't really need. But as from April, I started my own business and I started coaching and I started doing more and getting money from it. Right now I'm at net income of 396. I've received 7,323 in total. Spent 6,926 difference, 396. And uh, yeah, there was a month that I spent a little bit too much, but I did end up buying, I did end up buying a Sony A7C2 because I like cameras and I like gear. So now that I have my finances sorted out, now that I know where I'm starting at, where I'm at, it's good to create a routine because this past week, starting by myself, has been Yo, less ego and more soul, trying to make it clear like a soul throat. They too concerned about my wardrobe, but they going broke. We've been praying for it, only Lord knows. Just got an invoice, you had about four holes. Pick the lock when the doors close. This is my house, foreclosed. We stay I just created a routine that I think will work for me and it's a little bit ambitious but it's also a little bit with aligning my goals. First I selected important tasks that need to be done during the day and how much I wanna how much time I wanna allocate into it. And based on that I blocked my calendar because time blocking actually has been working for me in the past, so why not doing it now? And I have two day routines, basically I have weekend routine and I have weekday routine. And I know it's gonna be a lot of work, 
therefore I want to start my day early at 6 a.m. I know I've been saying I was gonna do that but it hasn't happened today actually it happened uh, I said I was gonna do it didn't tell anyone didn't tell my wife and I did it and I'm proud of that Small wing. someone's at the door Yeah, I got no time for that. There's uh, someone to talk about, I don't know. Our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Anyway, got distracted. <sighs> Fuck, I hate when that happens. So I selected, I'll just start from where I think I was. I'll select the day, I wanna start my day with a deep focus, then morning routine and I'm gonna record my screen because that's easier I have my deep focus hour for the first time a morning routine I want to plan my day at 9 then a deep focus session from 9 30 to 12 and this plan my day includes some journaling that I want to get into more I got a nice nice new journal from selfology I'll leave a link in the description down below in case you want to check them out. I'm not sponsored by the way. Then I want to have lunch and go to the gym. I think this worked for me in the past when I was studying going to the gym during the day. That gives me energy for the afternoon session where I'll be doing some client work. And then dinner, then some nice easy activity during the day um, where I want to just yeah relax do some video editing or perhaps if I need to keep on working work a little bit more and then relax watch some Netflix spend some quality time with my wife and my dog and that's literally what my week is gonna look like and there's actually something that we've been trying to do with my wife but so far we haven't been so lucky and that's what are we gonna do today Nancy? we're gonna drive to see a camper it's actually not our first trip to uh, see a camper no we saw already three of the videos on my phone really Thoughts. Yes. 